Hi, uh, this is Farah. Hello. And uh, Sherbel, we are from uh, Lebanon, uh, originally from the north, and we are living, living in Beirut. My name is Mary, and I'm from France, uh, in Paris. And uh, I want to talk about like the French traditional breakfast. My name is Kula Baridakis, and I live in, in Anya Creek. Hi, I'm uh, Raffaele. I'm uh, from Naples, um, south of Italy. Hi, uh, my name is Feza. Uh, I live in Istanbul, uh, Turkey. My name is Elena Maganto and I am from a very small town in Spain called Las Navas de Marques, 1400 meters over the sea level, like in the mountains and right now it's snowing. <laughs> in France, we really love bread. It's very something that we love so much. We have a lot of bakers and it's just amazing. We have the famous baguette uh, that you probably know. So I think, yeah, typical breakfast will be with some fresh bread that you can buy just in the morning at 7 a.m. And you can enjoy it with some good butter. In France, we, we love butter. And you can add some, some jam. We love jam. Um, with that, we actually love to have oranges. I think it's a bit like in the US, you can have an oranges and with some fresh fruit. And depending on the people, it will be with tea or maybe coffee. Uh, we have good quality tea. So in my family, we are more tea. So we, we drink some tea in the morning. So I brought uh, here a few examples of what is a very good breakfast in Spain, but I wanted to start a little bit about what I used to eat when I was a kid, when I was uh, growing up, definitely not the coffee because I was really little. <laughs> that was when I, I grew up. But basically milk was a big thing in my house because my father was a cowboy. He had cows. So we were getting fresh milk every single day from my grandfather. And what we have to do because it's not pasteurized, uh, we have to boil the milk two times to eliminate some of the bacteria that we didn't want to put in our gut. And then we just drank it straight from the glass and we never got sick, even if it wasn't pasteurized. But this was like whole milk. And I used to love whenever you boil the milk, you get like a little thin layer of cream that sometimes we used to put it in bread. We spread it in bread or we were using it to make cakes instead of milk. We were using that one. And then with that, toast is kind of like the most common type of breakfast. So we, get, we were getting bread every single day, also fresh from the bakery. I have a bakery across of my house and we toasted and we were using the liquid gold, which is extra virgin olive oil from Spain. So basically what we just were doing is we put a little bit of the oil in the toast and then we cut a few slices of fresh tomatoes. This tomato, as you can see, is really ugly. It's not the perfect tomato that you find at the supermarket. These tomatoes are real, non-genetically modified and organic from my neighbor's farm, from the backyard. And basically we cut slices or we just wrap the tomato on the toast. So this in Catalonia is called pan tumaca. It's really typical over there as well. And we just ate it like this. Uh, regarding uh, the breakfast, uh, the traditional Lebanese breakfast, we love to have uh, traditionally manaish, which is uh, a dough, or we put on top of it uh, some zatar, which or is cheese. or cheese. Uh, zatar is uh, the thyme uh, in Lebanon. Uh, also, we have uh, it's uh, well known in Lebanon, uh, Labne. We put uh, on top of it uh, some olive oil. And uh, uh, we used to, in the villages, uh, have also with these um, uh, for the breakfast the fried eggs. Uh, some are uh, scrambled and some we leave the yolk uh, soft. Also, we have the aside uh, some vegetables like uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, uh, fresh mint. Uh, fresh mint. Mm. 
uh, my typical breakfast today i'm 37 years old and my typical breakfast today it's uh, usually bread with uh, some olive oil and salt that's my favorite one because it reminds me when i was a kid and uh, when we used to have like fresh bread made it uh, from my mother and grandmother uh, we used to have just a little bit of salt and olive oil and sometimes a little bit of uh, dry basil or dry uh, parsley on top. It was like delicious. Um, but also uh, when, I ha when I'm in the right mood uh, and I want to remember when I was more like a kid, I also use some other fruits on the bread like figs or um, um, raisins. So mixing dry fruits and the bread and olive oil was like also um, very common. And when I'm really angry in the morning, I can use, also use some ricotta cheese uh, with some money. And that's basically what I really love on my breakfast, my typical breakfast. I wrote some things down because, you know, as you think about it, you remember the old days. So uh, for one thing, bread and cheese, and usually mizitra, you know, the fresh goat cheese with bread and honey. And sometimes my mom will, uh, the old bread, she will fry it. And then we put grape molasses on top or honey. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes sugar. And that will be like a break, you know, a very poor man's breakfast, something quick. Uh, and of course the mountain tea, uh, Greek coffee. But most of the people early in the morning will have the mountain tea because it gives you energy, as you know, and it's good for you. And then the, the day with coffee will be like 10 o'clock with a snack. And okay. usually will be a, another breakfast would be, of course, the yogurt that they make with honey and walnuts or with fruit. They will have oranges, they will have orange juice, they will have apples. Uh, whatever fruit was available depend, depends on the season. Sometimes even watermelon in the in the summer. Sometimes it will be eggs, but cook with tomato. They grate tomato and cook the eggs in tomatoes, in, in fresh tomatoes with olive oil and then eat them with bread. And of course, olives on the side. Um, sometimes it will be tacos. The double will bake bread with uh, grated tomato, olive oil, oregano, and fresh goat cheese. Another thing that I, uh, my parents used to make when we got the, about this time of the year, when we got the fresh olive oil, uh, they would put um, in a bowl flour, salt, and water, and they beat that well, and they put fresh olive oil and fry those. They are like pancakes, but not the American pancakes. Tiganites, we call them. It's also in the cookbook. Today, I'm uh, talking about what is a Turkish breakfast. Cheese uh, is a must for every breakfast. Um, at least uh, two or uh, three kinds of cheese will definitely be on table. Of course, olives, uh, both uh, black and uh, green olives in a brine. We usually serve with uh, olive oil, uh, lemon juice and uh, different kinds of herbs. Bread, uh, we don't have any meals uh, without bread. Uh, we love bread. Um, uh, and also a simple salad uh, be on table, usually made of tomatoes, uh, cucumbers or peppers uh, that are in the season. <laughs>